Hello, this is Vance, and this is Tuesday, September the 15th, 2015. Here's a little sell trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. I've got, um, I'm doing this pretty quick today. I was, uh, I just got back. It was late this afternoon. I didn't get a chance to do this this morning or this afternoon. But uh, it has a pretty decent movement um, in the, uh, I'll tell you what I saw. I want to just take a, take a look at back out here. Um, this is uh, today. Um, just to kind of give you an overview of, of today, the movement as far as the CL was concerned. Overnight, we kind of had this first, it looked like it was a range. Uh, I thought it was going to be more of a range day. Uh, it did break lower to the bottom of this range. I mean, really lower, but you can say that this is the low of the prices overnight. Um, you can see that price moved its way down. And this was just at about 9.30. That's where the ES opened. The price came back down to here, and then it moved up this. It moved back into this range, uh, touched the top, and then moved up over. And then I drew. Uh, by that time, I was able to draw this channel here. So I drew this channel on its way up. Uh, maybe we were testing. Maybe retesting this area after price broke out here. And if you see something, I like to to look at, and I've mentioned this in the past, is uh, these reverse V's here. You see, we got power V. Price moves up very quickly and then comes back, almost retraces almost all the way back to where it, where it started out. And you can see these happen on a regular basis. I mean, there's one, a smaller one here, uh, there's one here, price moves up, pulls down here, um, price moved down here at the end of the day. And look how they took it all the way back up and reached a new high just before the close, before uh, the market closed. So you can see if you, uh, what causes these things? That's something to really care. I mean, you're looking at uh, a CL. You got obviously a lot of selling going on, uh, maybe driving price down to get a better price, and then the big players they pull it back in. Uh, see the price overshoots or it's too emotional, and then you get people jumping back on the bandwagon. All these prices coming back up here, um, prices going down are, are shorts or are, are longs that are they're dumping, and as price is going up, these are shorts that are bailing out. And you can see that maybe at the top of at the top of these ranges here. Let's take a look at this one over here. I'll just kind of get a little bit bigger. So we see a price testing, let's say about 44.58. So price has gone, moved up in the overnight, came back, tested up here, tested again. And so you got to think that anyone that got short here, I mean, there was a significant amount of, of shorts above here uh, that was, or, or safety stops for these shorts. So on this particular leg, shorts came down here, um, buyers took over. Pulled price up here. It was a slight hesitation, which is really at this mid-channel right across here. And then when price got to the top of where the previous high was, you can see it just kind of rocketed right out here. So these are all the shorts, uh, the uh, safety stops were just were bailing out, and that's why price had driven higher up to here. Overshot comes back down, and you can see that uh, the reverse is also true. Anyone that's gotten long in here very quickly with the safety stops, that bailed out very quickly and came back down to this area and really retested this double bottom right here. You see this double bottom right here? That's as far as the, this really tight range. You can see that this um, this happened, came back down here, found support, moved its way back up. Same kind of re replay of this kind of scenario. Pulls back down, and then kind of moves its way up all the rest of the day. So I wasn't really looking at any shorts you know, throughout here. Um, I think this was just kind of an emotional move. Yes, we could have had a turnaround and driven it a lot further down. And even when we had this move later on in the day, I was thinking that I wasn't – wasn't really convinced it was going to hold. No, this happened very rapidly. This is just the last hour of trading. Uh, basically, uh, uh, this somewhere at uh, here it is. This is this is about one thirty. Price comes moves down here. Like uh, this is you know this is pretty much anything after noon in the afternoon is going to be pretty slow. So you can see that this is the last. Uh, uh, this is one thirty. Price moves all the way down to here. This is at two o'clock. Price moves back here, and this is. 2.30 here, so this took an hour, 1.30, uh, 2 o'clock, 2.30, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So this, it pulled it all, all the way back in. So you, ha you can't tell me that this is, you know, these are shorts at the end of the day trying to get better prices, I don't know, just dumping contracts or I don't know what it, what it was, but it should draw it down. Now, what else? This move up here, this move up toward the end of the afternoon, late in the afternoon, and even to now, Maybe it's a precursor to what we're looking at tomorrow. DOE reports out tomorrow. Um, we were we're still in trading in that range between, let's call it forty, forty two dollars to forty six dollars. Uh, we've been trading in that for the last couple of weeks, 
and you know it seems like that seems to be a solid uh, there seems to be a bottom at that area and because there's been such a sell-off in oil prices over the course of the last little while um, that maybe that we're, we're finding maybe some support maybe this is the precursor this move is is anticipating maybe higher prices tomorrow i don't know we'll have to wait and see what the overnight does and then we'll go from there but uh let me just talk about a few of these trades. So if you were looking at, if you had this channel in fairly early after this one, or, or I drew this one off the top, pulled it down, it really kind of held most of the day. And I was really looking at longs because I felt it was really moving up more than moving down. And so this is where it transpired. So let me just go over quickly with some of these trades. Uh, there's quite, there's, you know, some of them, I wasn't really into this. I, I didn't take any of these. Um, in, you know, looking at some of these, I mean, you could have taken them if you're more aggressive, but by this time I was really finished since after 12. 12:30, but I marked them anyways. I'll talk a little bit about those. Um, there's one thing I wanted to really talk about was this area right here, and I'll just chat about that really briefly. And this area here, so just kind of give you an, maybe an idea of my thought process. Uh, but um, this is what I saw as really a first trade this morning. It was just about 8:30, 8 minutes, 20 minute eight. Um, price moves up here, makes a new high, pulls back down the first time, uh, breaks this channel right here, and then this is a second entry short off of this low. Um, there's room to get out get the stop loss here it's uh you can see that we're just above that you can probably limit it in um, but you can keep your stop above this double top here this is a really strong rejection off of here you can see this is trapped i think for trapped traders traders this is a real strong bull bar here which felt that maybe this was trader striking was going a little higher it trapped a bunch of traders and then uh, it turned down immediately and it's a very strong it closed almost on its low there's room to get out to these double bottoms right here and so you know this is an easy an easy trade it comes back again you can see again and there's another opportunity to get in over here now when price gets down to this level i mark this as a trade and because i thought that the double bottom of this range originally was in this area um, a little bit uh, you know where the closes were right about here and you can see that this is a second entry long price moves down it breaks this short-term trend channel comes back down to here immediately fails comes out of here and if you look at this stop as well it's something that you could take more aggressive trade that's why i marked it in green as you can see it trails back up to the top here and again price makes a new it tries to break through doesn't first entry it first comes down to here pulls back slightly and then turns down it's a pretty strong bar again there's enough room to get out it hasn't broken this channel and so again there's, an, there's another opportunity now it's a little bit close so there's no if you, it does you don't get your depends on what if you limit it in you'd be okay but you know you're, you're, the bottom is right here and so when price sold off, it sold off uh, it pretty rapidly. It, it breaks this channel right here. This is the first entry. So this is price new high. There's your first entry, second entry long right down here. Now, why do I like this and why did I mark this in blue? Once this channel's in here, um, this is the bottom of the range. And whether it's the bottom of the range or the bottom of the trend channel, it's within, it's close, you know, right here. So let's call this the most touches around right around here, let's say. And so if you look at it from the perspective of this, this is the bottom, it just overshoots a little bit. And if you, you buy right at the top of the close of this bar, it's a pretty strong bar. You figure we're gonna be testing the top of this range again. And you can see that uh, your stop is below these, these lows right here. And so uh, almost below the, I mean, if you're really aggressive, what you could do is that you could have limited in right to here, like right across here, um, not quite that low, but uh, limited down here on these closes. Uh, but uh, if you waited, you get, if you had these bars together, this is a pretty strong bull bar, bull signal with these three bars. And so, you know, remember 800 ticks, you know, 800 transactions on the, these three bars, and they're still they're all pretty positive, especially this last bar right here. And so, uh, you figure there's gonna be some momentum to get your 12, your 15 ticks off. You can see it moves up here, and then we have a break of this channel. So the first break pulls back, second break. Now, I mark this one as a trade because only because it closes on its high. It's like a breakout pullback long. Um, that's I marked it in green because it's only a first break, and then but breaks on a second time. And again, you know this is the second entry long on, but the bar is a uh, is a um, is a bear bar. And but when this one closes, it's uh, it's a really strong signal bar right here. And now we're not near the top here. You know we don't have much room to get to the top. I mean almost let's say this double top right here. But uh, we don't have enough room. That's why I marked this one in green. But I thought that in this case, we may have a measured move. I thought we would fail at the top. So I thought it was realistic to think that we may have a measured move out of this, which would put us in a pretty good position. Maybe not quite your 12 ticks or 15 ticks, I mean. 
almost, uh, but not quite. But uh, that's why Marcus Young Green. I mean, you'd probably have to limit in here, like if you're limited in this area, and uh, like right across this top, if you limited in, you would have been fine uh, as far as that trade is concerned. I mark this because this is even a portion that if you if you got it on this trade and uh, you got your 15 ticks off, this is a place where you may even consider adding on some more. Now, I don't talk about that adding on. I usually like the trade, the one trade, but uh, you can't add on. I mean, if you see another setup while you're in an existing trade, there's nothing wrong with doing that, particularly if the signals present themselves. But I don't talk about that very much. I just talk about that. I'm trying to get people to see this, uh, uh, you know, just on the basis of, of trades, uh, just a, a single trade at a time it makes it a lot easier because if you start thinking add on this risk management that's more along the lines of um, of uh, money management and it's a little bit more difficult especially if you're trying to do it on the fly so try to do the simple the simple things first um, anyway uh, this one worked out it's and you can see where the failure comes it, it fails at the top of this channel and then it really we have another turnaround in this area um, really a reversal more than anything, a reversal type uh, setup. Uh, this is the second entry. The second entry short is right here. You know, price makes a new low here. This is a failed second entry short. So it's the first entry, second entry is a failed second entry short here. Uh, this is the low here. We start to count zero, one, two, second entry short. This little, little doji, this bull doji at the top here, this is second entry short. But then price pulls back down to here breaks this channel and I think this is a bit of a, I think it's a trap um, now I did mark this in green because it's really only the first break but because it's it's heading up to for some resistance there and if you put your stop in above this you're fine um, on a higher time frame or lower time frame you could see that this is where anytime you have this and you have this on a, a lower time frame it's like a double top uh, or um, price moves up and it moves but down immediately if you're kind of if you if you're looking at let's say a 400 tick chart uh, so this is like that kind of setup um, but as you can see price there's moved room to get out to retest maybe this area where before it hits resistance but as you can see it fell down even lower now we have a break of this channel this is may consider this a first break but then we have another break now when you see a break like this you want to see a break to a new low so this is a first break let's consider it and then you want to see a break to a new low before you're going to get long in this direction now why did i s i mark this one in blue i marked this one in blue because if you take these bars here and this was from 1018 all the way to 1036 so this was about let's call it uh 20 minutes these bars here were 20 minutes and when you look at the closes this was a very tight range this is only about uh, um if you had these bars together, it would be just like one bear bar. And so I would say like this would be the break. So you would say that this is the first from here. You can say you add these bars together. This would be like a first entry, pull back, second entry. And so that's what I looked at. Now, it's a little bit more, more difficult to kind of see that, but uh, this really comes in, the, in a, another segment that I've discussed in the past called Candlestick Math. Now, the reason that I would even su even suggest that at this point is because it's really tight. You have buyers and sellers here. I can't take control. And this was just kind of a, uh, this is an emotional move. And when you look at it from the perspective of what, where it kind of finds support, it finds support really right where these double bottoms are. So you figure that there's got to be some, uh, you know, there's a, there's a, a either uh, be safe right here, but then they were absorbed. And instead of like driving it that much further down, uh, price found support so you could say that this is a first entry and then a second entry of break a break of this channel and then a new low price has moved up in this middle channel it kind of shot up here again it pulled back down to this area you see the first pullback breaks this channel well it doesn't quite get to the new low but then you can see the support right across here moves up high it takes a while to move up it starts moving up here moves up to this area another break First pullback, second pullback, another opportunity right here, and it, you see it, it moves this way up. Now this one's in green. It's off the EMA more or less. It closes above the EMA in this case, and so uh, when you look at your 15 tick stop box, it's like this, right? Now would you take a short in here? I wouldn't really look at this as a short in this area because it's it's really stacked up. The, you know, see the bars are stacked up here. Price moves back down to here, and by the time you get really, you really want to take a go short below this bar. Um, when you look at this establishment, if you can see these ones right here, you can see this channel right here. I don't think so. I think more likely is that you want to take a long and maybe even limit in as long as you're below these ones right here. 
uh, as far as you know, gives you some room. So if it comes back down and tests the week, you probably don't get blasted out. Um, but uh, uh, price moves it up, and you see it moves up for the rest of the day, and then it had, has another move, and you can see that the failure happens really about the top of this. It runs out of gas right around the top of this uh, this, this channel. So that takes us into really about noon. That was pretty much it. Uh, price starts working its way back down here again. I mean, you can see there's a rejection on this. And if you establish this channel, you could take these trades. I think they're a little bit more aggressive um, because you're in the middle of this channel and you're kind of going, it's really established. As, it's not really quite established as a counter trend as of yet. And you can see it kind of moved its way down from, this is from noon till about uh, one thirty. So it's, you know, there's really fighting through this. Um, it's almost like a slow trend down. And then when it breaks to this area, if you get it on this one, I mean, if you're, you know, because of this movement down, I think you could take this trade. It's a second entry short. Price makes me low for a country second entry short. Um, this is a second, this is a failed second entry long right here. Price makes me high, first entry, second entry long. And there's second entry longs right here, but they're almost, uh, this one didn't quite, uh, uh, first entry, second entry long right here. This is a second entry short right here, so first entry um, uh, zero, first entry, second entry short down to this area. Um, this, I, m I marked this one as a, only because we had a uh, price moves up here, pulls back, moves up again, an immediate failure, but I would think that more along the lines, because it was kind of, if you're watching this chart, if you got a short here with your stop above these ones right here, you have to limit in. Um, it would have worked out. The only trouble is it's kind of close to the bottom, um, but you know we're, we're see, you see that trend. You think it's going to at least maybe test it, and you see you just have enough room to get out of here. Um, so that's why I marked that that trade. You see when it gets down to the bottom, you, you have a hesitation. Then it rejects right here. You think it's going to turn around, and then right here there's a trap. And so you could take this trade, and the general trend is upwards. I didn't like I said I didn't say that, but if you would have been fortunate enough to to see that and get on it, you can see that it went it ran pretty hard, but then it turned around almost immediately, um, and then moved its way back up and even higher. So um, that was pretty much it. This is like the end of the. This is a pretty damn good. I just finished editing here. <laughs> I just marked this afterwards. So anyway, it was a uh, pretty. Dis I think it was pretty easy to see most of it, especially through this area. Um, you know, I was more looking at longs, especially when we disestablished here. As soon as I got this trend here, I was really trading this this uh, area right here, and mostly went towards the upside, not anything else, because I saw it as going up. You have you see, have you got higher lows through this area, uh, you know, higher lows up here. Even though it pulls back, it's pulling back higher. And it's still moving its way up. So buyers really had um, better control of the market overall. Anyway, it was 18 minutes. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is Vance. Bye for now.